Hello, welcome to the first of the customizing the look videos. The part one will deal with, with the colors. So you like to typically uh, over here, we would like to use it like this, but this is not how you get it when you first install UCAM out of the box on a, on a new system. So when what you will see is the colors will be like this. So there's a white background, we're using gray selections and we use a black rubber band. Now the rubber band has to do with pulling these windows like that. That is the rubber band, hence we call it rubber in the, over here. So how can we change this? Very simple, you click on the color you wanna change, so in this case, the background. I can pick one from over here and say apply. If I go to the selections, uh, most people want to have this in white. Now I can pick it white here, or I can show you a different method of doing it via the RGB sliders. I'll slide all these all the way over to the right. And that gives me the white color, say apply. And then finally, the rubber color. I, again, it's totally your preference. I actually have it set up on my system so that they are yellow. So I'll leave it like this, apply and I save. So now this shows me the colors, the way they, I have them over here. Then the, um, you can use this also to change the color of your planes. If you would prefer not to use this in red, you could just click on it, pick another color and change it to your heart's desire. I'm not gonna do that because I like the colors the way they are over here. What I will change is that a, and there's a display capability of showing the colors of the pads and the, and the traces in it differently. So when I switch that option on over here, at this point, the effect is rather subtle, but it does show me the traces and the pads in different colors. And yes, these are traces because they are filled like this. So what I'm going to do over here, I like this a little bit brighter so that on the total view, it becomes immediately clear. So I'm going to use this orangey color over here, click apply. And now I have the different colors. Yep. In this case, I changed plane one, which is not what I wanted. So let's just go back to the red like this, apply, and I'll click on plane one traces, and that one I will change to orange. Apply, save. So now it immediately becomes very clear. So when you save this, it saves it in the UCAM color.db, which is the system default. That's when UCAM starts, it will always load that one in first. You can, however, save these with different names. Like I could save this one with a name, uh, my colors, and then afterwards I could switch back and forth by clicking on load. However, I suggest to at least set this up the way you prefer it, save it, and once you're done, just click OK and you're all set. That concludes video 301. Thank you.